Hello, Nolan. How you doing? Doing about the occasions of. <clears throat> yeah, I was prepared for this. I, I am currently at Cowboy Camp, and right just east of Clear Lake. It's free, free camping. It's like one of the only spots in Northern California. I'm not even kidding. I've been Googling the crap out of it. And you can pull out. There's a lot of pullouts on the side of the road on 20 going from Williams to to, to um, Clear Lake. But this one actually has porta potties and stuff. And, you know, to, to the pits of despair, but it's better than nothing, right? Well, I just left um, Mount Olympus B&B, a.k.a. my dad's house. And he helped me fix my vehicle. He didn't want to be on camera, so I, didn't, I respect that. He, although I kind of got him when I was showing you the, the lid, the, the lens for the blinker. Hey, we did what we did. It was cute. I'm actually, it's weird because I remember when I got in the accident, I was like, man, I have a lot of good karma. And God and the universe loved me, so I'm like, what the hell? What in the hell, right? I didn't understand why. I was like, why in the fuck would I get in an accident? Especially when I know I didn't, I still got to work on uh, whose fault it was, but <clears throat> anyway, and sure enough, yeah, got to hang out with my dad and it was a good time, it was actually nice, it was, it was different, and yeah, he didn't, I didn't ask him for nothing, I just showed up, and so I did say, well, you didn't think you could help me try to fix it, and, and I'll do all the work, <laughs> uh, actual, I won't even go into, basically, Self-tapping screws, um, a can of white paint, primer, and um, some sheet metal that we pound. I pounded out a, a gutter. We just really it was a really like, industrial-sized gutter. So I pounded the shit out of that, and oh, easy peasy. Now I'm back on the road. He even Dad even kicked in four new tires for me, and they were gold balls. I think he felt bad because I, we're sitting there looking at the the damage right now. We fixed it, and he goes. He goes, um, you gonna put those tires on it? Cause I told him about trying to get tires on my, cause I still have a camp, but it's too expensive, I can afford it. He goes, well, you need to, I'm like, I don't have the money dad, sorry. He goes, oh, okay. Cause he was like, you're not driving anywhere on those, right? I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of where I'm, wherever the hell I gotta go, right? So yeah, kick down four new tires for me. I own them. But you know, your parents, right? If they're, even if they're half decent, you owe them for just being there, you know. That's when my dad says, you know what I mean? I'm like, why don't you just throw an extra 20, <laughs> a million, just top it off. Because, you know, if you do it right as a parent, you know, your kids owe you just for being a good parent nowadays. So, you know, I really appreciate that. So now I'm back on the road. And tomorrow I will be at my grandson's seventh birthday. It'll be seven. Jeez, it's flying by, man. I will get to see my granddaughter Lily, who's almost two. She's coming up. I'm excited about that. I need some hugs. Those two, I need loving friends, especially Lily. She's more of an empath than me. But Alex is awesome. He's very high functioning autistic, which of course I need. And he's just so it's hard to focus him. He's really he's got a lot of stuff going on. I love him. He's fun. Anyway, I can't wait to hang out with him. I'm excited. That'll be my tomorrow trip, going through Mount Shasta and all that stuff. So wish me luck. Uh, anyway, I'll post this when I get some signal somewhere. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. The universe loves you. And yeah, love yourself. Kick ass. Be the emperor and the empress that you are meant to be. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Check that out. The hillside. Okay, bye.